So we had, uh, we left when we had done some workings on uh, learning curves. And that is where now we pick from. So we are going to draw an analysis table. We're going to draw an analysis table. And this analysis table, we are going to have uh, year three. We will have uh, year two. We will have year one. We will have zero. And then we will have three tips. Have uh, details. Have details. So this one we will call it analysis table. Analysis table. Where we have details here. Then here we have year zero. Then here we have year one. Here we have year two. And then here we have year three. We have year three. Okay. Now, the first thing that you're going to bring is uh, labor hours. Labor hours. And the labor hours, we can designate them A. Labor hours, we designate them A. Uh, so, what you're going to do is uh, to go to the workings that we had, to go to the workings that we had, and then you tell me uh, each year we had found how many hours? Think what that is? That eight is the four. So put here, year one, that eight is the four, that eight is the four, and that eight is the four. Right. Then we shall have chairs. The chairs, I want us to call them B. In the first year, we had been told we made 5,000. We made 5,000. In the second year, we made uh, 
X was uh, 8,000 and what? 8,459. 8,459. And in the, we give the third year, we had what? Third year, to be completed to Kapata 10 something. 10, 5, 6, 1. So it's a little track those figures. 10, 5, 6, 1. So here, this one is a full year. This is a full year. Like this. Walk the battery. Ah, yeah. Let us now get uh, sales revenue or just sales. Now, sales, we had defined how it will be gotten if you look at the workings that we had. And we had said that it will be uh, the selling price. The selling price is how much? I think we had defined because of the same uh, when you are looking at the inflows, the inflows are between seven two sales. Price times, or I think we specify price. Eh? Okay, so go to where the question was. Eh? Go to where the question is. Uh, you tell me the price, the same price per year is for 20. So we are going to get sales at uh, 420B, and we can call it C. We can call it C. So take your calc and give me the figures. 420 times 5,000 is how much? Huh? 2.1 million. 2 million 100,000. Uh, let us go to the next. Thirty-five. 5280. You go to the last one, you multiply by forty four that five six hundred and twenty. So we can have uh, we are not computing profits we are computing the inflows and the outflows eh? so we will just proceed in the common uh, is it is which Let me just conform to the normal setup. Less. So the first cost, the first, the first that we have got to identify, the first one that we have identified are the outflows, the capital investments, capital investments. Now, capital investment, it is only in the first year. Uh, and I want us to call it uh, B. Capital investment, we are calling it B. It is how much? 850,000. Now, that one is in year zero. It is in year zero, recorded there, 850. 
Ah, yeah. The next one that we had uh, come up with was what? Overhead. So overhead cost. Now overhead is also given as an annual figure. So we just call it E. We just call it E. And uh, that gives us it will be 250. So that 250, we record it here every year from year one. 250, 250,000, 250,000, 250,000. Right. The next one was what? Material cost. So material costs, we are going to get it as uh, one chair is costing how much? As far as materials are concerned, 300. So then we will say it is 300 B, which we shall call F. 300 B, we shall call it F. So as a, we have here 300 times 5,000 is 1.5 million. I am ready for the next one. So 300 times 8459. 25.7500. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Uh, the next one is uh, that one three hundred. Uh, yeah. Next is river costs. Labor cost, so labor cost is uh, one hour they are charging how much? 60. 60. So it is 60A, and we call it G. We call it G. To that three, zero forty. Add that, huh? so that would be constant uh, to that three zero forty to that three zero forty. Uh, I think those are our deltas. So with that, you can even draw a line here. Uh, even though a line, then we put your same net in froze, net in froze. So the net in froze will be arrived at as C minus D minus E minus F minus G, and we will call it H. You are the size of here again on its own. The netting froze. So here we are going to have minus eight fifty thousand, minus eight fifty thousand. So the next one. Are you okay? Increase, are you okay? Okay, one sixty nine, one one six, nine six. Okay.
I hope you are not including the hours and the chairs. So, huh? this one. Uh -huh. So, what is the answer here? Five at two zero forty. Benta, you should also be sending your figures. You should also be sending your figures. Uh huh. So we go to the next. Because hmm? our. Yeah, then I can see the same seven in the fourth week. Yes. Seven in the fourth week. Seven in the four to eight. Okay, the next thing that we need to get is the PVIF. The PVIF at Dia. Uh, and uh, the interest rate we are told is what percent? 15%. 15%, and we can call that one K. We can call that one K. So I don't know whether you have the tables, but if you don't have the tables, how do you compute them? It is one plus R, you raise power minus what? So maybe I can even put it as a formula one plus R raised to a minus N. If you don't have the table. So the first one will obviously be zero, eh? Uh, sorry, one. Uh, the next one is zero point. So it is three years for fifteen percent. So now, ukiwa hapa, naweka total kwa one point one five. So sasa hapa you raised to power zero, you equal one. Hapa you raised to power minus one. So we can work with two decimals. Eight seven. Although the standard tables we have worked on four decimals, eh? so we can work with four decimals. So eight six nine six. Yeah. Eight six nine six. 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 Eight six nine six
because the F vegetables in a corner are four decimals. Zero point seven five six one. Zero point six five seven five. So present value, present value of inflows, net inflows of net inflows, it will be H multiplied by K. It will be H you multiply by K. So the first one will obviously be minus eight fifty. Okay, so now here we have uh, what price? What have you gotten? One one seven zero eight. Oh, you have round it then. Eh? Okay, Sarah. Then you be the next one. Two seventy five. The last one. Five one five six six four. Five fifteen six six four. So sasa hiyo ukitaka now NPV Remember NPV it is the inflows minus the outflows eh? So it is basically this one you, you just add all of them So the same minus 850000 plus 11708 Plus four two two seventy five plus five fifteen six six four. So we are adding that way. I've seen some students argue that E is about to mean the outflow. We need to subtract again. If you subtract again, it becomes plus. One sixty nine six forty seven. One sixty nine six forty seven. So, what do you advise them now? Should they take up the project or they should not? Uh, 
I had good friends. <laughs> yeah, you should take up the project because it has a positive MPV. Yes. <laughs> in evaporate the issue of the brick. Actually, in the running car, we see when there is a brick, we forget. That question was in which page? Okay. Ikuwa kwa exam na ikuwa kwa pilot paper. So state other factors the management of Dwakari Limited should consider before making the decision. So before taking up the that decision, what are the factors you need to consider? Uh, one is availability of labor hours. You need to be sure that the labor hours will be available as shown. Availability of equilibrium labor hours. Let's put it that way. Availability of equilibrium labor hours. Number two, demand for the chairs. Demand for the chairs. Demand for the chairs. Something else is the ability of the figures. The ability of the estimates, I think that is more than that. The ability of the estimates. As in Sasa is Makina for 20 and 360, how reliable are they? The ability of the estimates. Another one is the financing available. Financing available. You can also talk about effect on other products. Effect on other products. And that argument continues. Uh -huh. The last lesson was the first time we introduced running cars. Was the first one? Eh? Okay, so we can do more the running cars today. Okay, so then let's move for another question. Let's go to December 2012, question one. December 2012, question one is on page 91.
Okay, so I'm not take there to go over to I do for that document. So we have said we are dealing with the question of uh, December. Please start again and read for us. December 2012, question one A. Which is on page ninety one. <laughs> The direct material in the, the direct material in the will be 150 shillings per unit for the life of the planet. Production is expected to be in purchasing of 1,000 units throughout the life of the planet. The direct labor cost is expected to reduce due to the effect of learning for the first eight batches produced. Therefore, the labor cost will remain at the same cost per batch as, as the eighth batch. But the direct labor cost of the first batch of 1,000 units is expected to be 120,000. A learning index of an 80% is expected to open. The learning index for an 80% learning curve is equal to negative 0.322 require average direct labor cost for a batch of the first eight batches to direct labor cost of the eight bar batch three contribution to the end of the product over its life. Thank you, thank you. That's good. Uh, now when you are told to use the average direct labor, you will say 
using running curve using running curve average method using running curve average method we first of all write the formula as i told you the formula is y bar is equals to ax raised to power b the formula is y bar is equals to ax raised to power b So we start identifying these items. B, we know it is given as the log of R, you divide by the log of two. The log of R, you divide by the log of two. So this would be the logarithm of uh, 0.8. You divide by the logarithm of two, Check whether it is the one they have given us there, minus 0.322. Negative? Oh, so the two to three decimals is right? Okay. Ah, yeah. The next thing is to know your x. x, it is in terms of batches. We are told to get for the first eight. So x is eight. x is eight. Ah, yeah. The next is uh, to get the bar a. Now a is the time taken for the first. But now in this case, it's not time, it's the cost, which is given information number four as 120,000. So that means the Y bar for eight will then be 120,000 times eight, which is raised to our minus 0.322. And that will be Kenya shillings, how much? Sixty one, four hundred thirty point six point eight. Just a minute. Yes. 
Okay, so using running curve. Total method using learning curve with the method y is equals to kx b plus one. So b plus one will be minus zero point three two two plus one. Zero point six seven eight. So now that we already know all these, eh? see the others. So we just go straight and say it is 120,000 times 8 raised to the power 0678. Can you shillings? 491. 447. Alternatively, alternatively, you could also arrive at that figure as uh, y for the 8 as uh, y bar multiplied by x. Y bar multiplied by x. So the y bar is 61,430.8 times 8. That is major shillings. Four ninety one four forty. See, it's just because of the decimals that they differ. Yes, just the decimals that are creating the difference. So you can also use that approach. Uh, the next question is contribution to be earned. So for you to get that, for you to get the contribution, we are going to draw an income statement. An income statement. Income statements. Income statements. Okay. 
So in the income statement, you start with sales revenue. Sales revenue. Uh, we, we are yet to get to the income statement. Uh, but now that we have grown, there is a working that we have not done eh, for the eighth. So we shall leave a space instead of cancelling. So sales revenue, it will be like this. It is uh, 16,000 units, each at a selling price of 250. Four million, exact. So we have four million. Then we less, we can start with the labor costs. So the labor costs, we will have the first eight batches. So the first eight batches is totally uh, in the corner of it. 491, uh, 447. So the next eight batches, the next eight batches, once we work out, we shall bring it there. Uh, the next item that is mentioned, is direct materials, material costs. Material cost we are told, which is 150 per unit. So that's a unit of 16,000 times 150. 16,000 times 150. Two point four million. So we don't have any other cost elements. We don't have any other cost elements. So with that, you have your contribution. You have your contribution. You have your contribution. So the next eight batches, the next eight batches, we will need to get Y for the eight. It will be Y for the first eight minus Y for the first seven. Y for the first eight minus Y for the first seven. So this becomes 120,000. Actually, this one we already know it. See you. 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 See Minus one twenty thousand multiplied by seven, which is raised to power point six seven eight. Four forty eight. Uh, give me now the difference.
Okay, so uh, the cost, the cost now should be 42, 5, that 9 times 8. Three forty three zero nine. So Sasa you build the idea now up at you. Say the three forty three zero nine. Seven sixty eight two twenty four. One contribution that would be asked. So on your own now, I would like you to attend December 2014. December 2014, question 1C, which is on page is, uh, which is on page 74. I would like you to read and attempt that. Discuss and come up with the answers. So in the blue and uh, try to figure it out. I will give you how many minutes? Ten. Yeah, ten minutes. You don't make the problems. <laughs> Even if maybe you don't write ten eh, in the book, eh, just chat up kwa karatasi so that uh, you will tell me what you need to do.
Since it is non specific or not specific, since it is non specific, why for the six and seven, then eh? six and seven will be y for the first seven minus y for the first what? The first five. <laughs> the first five. Ukusema the first six, eh? Utakuwa umeacho na asimu. So, lazima nasa utakutiri ya asimu. Still okay, but now you have more work. But finally, you get the same answer. Higher. So, uh, having read that foundation, because these are the figures that are depending on the department, so we can start with assembly. In the assembly, in the assembly, uh, A, in the assembly, in A is 92. Sit down. Uh, B is, we already given that, eh? minus, actually, now that we are given it, we can just go straight to say B plus 1 is minus 0 0.322 plus 1, which is 0 0.678, H. because the examiner has already given that. Uh, so, mm -hmm. So, A, X, and uh, B, and So, Y for the six and seven, it is uh, 952 times seven, raised to power point seven, six, eight, minus 952 times five, raised to power point six, seven, eight. Seven twenty six. Twenty four. Okay. 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 Seven hundred. Seven twenty six point four three. Okay. All right, let's go to this other one, and then to our finishing. So when we get to finishing, A is uh, 6.50. B plus one is 6.50. B plus one is minus 0.152 plus one. This should be 0 0.848. 0 0.848. So therefore, y for the 6 to 7, it is uh, 650 multiplied by 7 raised to power 0.848 minus 650 times 5 raised to power 0.848. Thank 
So the income statement. For sixth and seventh cars for the sixth and the seventh cars. Sasa, uh, we start with the labor cost or we start with the revenue. Right? So sales revenue, sales revenue. So sales revenue, we are told that uh, this customer is willing to pay four million for the two cars. So we bring the four million here. That is what he's willing to pay. Uh, then from there, uh, we say less. According to information one, we have labor costs. So labor costs. Now these labor costs, we have uh, assembly. Let's start with assembly. Assembly, a single hour is being paid at 1250. So it is 1250 times assembly, we already have known that the hours are 726. 0 0.43 All right, we got to finishing. Finishing, we are told it is 950. We are already in the know the hours are 840.26. Then according to information four, we have material costs. Material costs, which we are told is uh, 400 per vehicle. So you multiply by two so that we record 800,000. Then overhead costs, overhead cost is uh, 200,000 times two. That gives us 400,000. So I think that is all. So with that now, you can be able to tell us how much profit, the net profit that we expect to make after we have delivered the cash.
Haya. Kama tuko sawa. Let's go to page 69. There is a picture in school there of uh, Page 69, that is May 2015, question 2A. Joyce, you can read for us. So we shall begin by saying using running car total method using running car total method again you write the formula y is equals to kx raised to b plus one y is equal to kx B plus one. Uh, our B will be the log of uh, R divided by the log of two. And we are already given, but at times it's important to confirm that the log of 0 0.85 divided by the log of two is minus 0 0.2345. What's that, right? So if it's okay, then B plus one will be minus 0 0.2345 plus one. 0.2345 plus one. Zero point seven to four decimals. The way the examiner has seven six five five. Seven six five five. Then X, it is uh, H. A, the time taken for the past is two thousand. Now, since it is specific, it is specific. Specific to the the very first is part of the X. Eh? The very first item is part of the X. So, Y for the H should be 2000 times H raised to the power 0.7655. H 
and J25.3. So the quotation, we are told to, so the quotation for H derivation sets. We are told to prepare a quotation. Quotation is the one that will show the price. The price that is to be charged. So, Sasa, the first thing to answer what you information one is talking of uh, material costs. It's talking of material costs. And this material cost is 400 times 8. 400 times 8 is uh, 3.2 million. Eh? 3.2 million. Labor costs. The labor cost is uh, 300. You multiply by this number of hours. 98.25.3. Two million. How many? Two million. Nine forty seven. Five ninety. Five ninety. Uh, according to information four, we have uh, indirect costs. Indirect costs. We have indirect cost, and we are told it is one twenty per hour. So the two are one twenty multiplied by ninety eight twenty five point three. Eleven twenty nine, eleven seventy nine, zero three six. Ah, uh, the material handling. Oh, those ones I should have called them. Uh, whatever. So handling costs. Let's just call them handling costs. So the handling costs. It is 50% of material. So it's 0 0.5 times 3.2 million. So that must be 1 million 600,000. 1 million 600,000. Uh, I think that is all. So with that, we have now total costs. Eight million nine twenty six six twenty six. Then the profits, the profits. 
So the question says that they have a margin, margin of uh, that three and a third. Now margin is uh, profit expressed in terms of the same price. And what we have here is the cost. So we must convert it to market. So this margin, that three and a third out of a hundred, for you to make it to be market, you less the new measure. You less the new measure. Then multiply by this cost in the nine twenty six six twenty six. That is how you convert the. The margin to mark. But you see now, this one that we and that in simple terms, <laughs> in simple fraction, that three and a half is a half. So when you reduce it, that's what half. So it's half of this. So four million four sixty three three five two. Yes, it is half. So that means now we have the revenue so if you add those ones Uh, Ten million three eight nine nine eight nine eight three. I thought we put the back in I when you see me six nine two. I'm expecting huh? If you are directly, I'm expecting up to eight. Seven million nine hundred seventy-eight. Three hundred nine. Nine hundred eight. Joyce. Three hundred fifty-eight. Oh, you have three hundred fifty-eight instead of three hundred fifty-two. Right? Okay, so we kiss that well one You just divide this because I'm uh, so to the name for Basi, then selling price. If they want the selling price for TV, we that you as a say that 10 million. 3898, you divide by eight. 
one million six hundred seventy three seven forty seven. Okay. So seven forty eight can make it forty eight. So that is the cost of that, or rather, that is the price that they should sell. So I think with that, we should be well grounded as far as the running curves are concerned. Most likely we shall come back. Now this one, eh? this is what we call cost plus pricing method. This is a pricing method question. Cost plus pricing method. We are here to make up of. So on your own, you could now attempt, you can go and attempt May 2016. Uh, question one. C, May 2016, question one, C, is on page 55, it's on page 55, at November 2016, November 2016, question, uh, Two B. Question two B. So you can attempt those ones. Uh, that would be good. So we then call it a uh, B at that juncture. We shall be using this one. We shall be using this one. I think there's no need of me shouting in a very big room. <laughs> yeah. So we shall be using this room. Uh, now we shall meet next week on Monday. On Monday. So Saturday I said not there. And that then means even next week on Thursday, we shall still recover the class. Eh? We shall still recover what you have lost on Saturday. So thank you so much. We meet uh